The belief that our Earth is flat is often regarded as a long debunked relic of less scientific and less certain times. But since about 2015, the flat Earth theory has been making a comeback primarily online. The initial reaction, such as myself, I laughed at this, thought it was ridiculous. Thursday, however, both believers and skeptics met face to face at the Embassy Suites Hotel in Cary. The idea of me here doing an interview talking about the fact that the Earth could not be what we've been told, it's crazy. But, it, but again, when you take the time and you look into it, you don't laugh very much longer. Hundreds are expected to attend the first ever Flat Earth International Conference. Guest speakers, artists, and information booths are some of the features of the two-day event. I'm a believer in the spherical Earth theory. You're told that the Earth it ro rotates around a magnetic core containing multiple metals and uh, I think that's a very good theory and I have no reason to dispute it. I have yet to be proved wrong. However, flat earthers don't believe such things can be proven beyond simply theory and they say they're open to debate. Neil deGrasse Tyson, Bill Nye, they just laugh and mock us, but we're just saying let's have a debate then. If, if it's so silly and you wanted to shut it down and it's not scientific, well, come to the table. Real independent science suggests overwhelmingly that we're looking out, that we're looking at a flat plane. FEIC organizer Robbie Davidson says he wanted to create this event to legitimize the flat earth movement and carve out a space where their voices can be heard. To have a totalitarian regime where ideas are enforced is dangerous and cruel. And I believe that a function such as this uh, serve a function in society that uh, help. In Cary, Nick LaGrange, Spectrum News.